Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the actual chocolate cheesecake part. Um, I'm hoping that it doesn't jack me up too much because I don't have a spring form pan. Um, the spring form pan are the ones that they use to make actual cheesecake. They're round, they look like cake pans, but they have like a little latch on the side so you can open them. I don't have one of those. I was interested in getting one, but I never actually got one. Now, luckily for me, I do have parchment paper because I was roasting vegetables and stuff. So I do have some of that, but all I have is, are these even cake pans? I think these are palm pans. I'm trying to see. I think they're pie pans. Yeah. Yeah, I think these are pie pans. That's all I have as far as like round stuff. And then I have cast, cast iron pans, but those are definitely not going to work. So I could follow almost all the directions, okay? So, um, it says to preheat the oven to 340 and grease the pans. Uh, if you see me looking over there, that's because that's, I'm looking at the instructions. And to line it with parchment paper and wrap the outside with aluminum foil. I guess so the sides and stuff don't burn and so that the inside cooks, um, thoroughly, um, I don't have aluminum foil because I don't like to use aluminum foil anymore because aluminum foil, aluminum period, is toxic. So, uh, I don't have that. I have these, okay? And these are not even that great. They're just non-stick pans, okay? That's what I have. That's what I'm going to use. So, I would have to... Cut out some circles and put it in this pan. Because if I put the whole paper in there, it's just going to be burnt. So that's what I'm supposed to do. Cut these in the Yeah. But I never keep my oven like in the appropriate time. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do the rest of this stuff. So, um, what I'm going to do is do that off camera because that's not important to me, okay? Not to be showing you guys, I mean, it's simple. I just need to cut some circles, put some oil in it, bam, that's it. And turn my oven on sometime during this, you know. Okay, so, let's get started on something. Um, I'm only doing half the recipe like I already said. But, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, so anyway, I already have the recipe. I have it written down right here. All blue leg and nice because I was just thinking I really don't need to try to make a whole big one and I don't have the right, you know, pans for it. So, um, I have these cookies here. I didn't get Oreos because Oreos have too many unnecessary ingredients in it. I got these, um, the list of ingredients is shorter. Um, even though it still has stuff in it that, um, I don't necessarily want but organic is better than GMO and there's so many um Oreos to choose from now like it's crazy you can get anything now any and everything Oreos I'm surprised they haven't started coming out with like weird flavors yet chicken and waffles Oreos or something so um if you see me looking back, it's because the recipe is back here, and I'm obviously using the recipe because I don't know how to do this yet. Um, I need 
me eight cookies. That's it, eight cookies. Cause it said 16, but I'm doing half the recipe. So boom, four right here. And I'm putting them in here. Four. Oh, can you guys see? No, not really. Okay, let me move this back. Okay, four cookies right here. One, two, three, four. didn't say take the cream out or nothing and okay one for me thank you um it didn't say to take the cream out or anything like that it says leave it in there okay so i got six oreos here and i need a tablespoon of melted butter as i already showed you guys or did I show you guys? I don't think I showed you guys my ingredients. I'm using this. It's vegan, dairy free, soy free, soy free, <sighs> soy free, gluten free, all that great stuff. So I have my tablespoon here and I have to melt this. So and I have to blend this. This is going to be messy. In all over the place because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I should plan this, okay? Pulse. We're going to pulse these cookies. Pulse them on down. There they go. They're in there. Pulse. Until we have crumbs, okay? Combine the crumbs with melted butter and stir until evenly moistened. Okay, so I can take these out of here. I'm taking them out. I have a bowl. It's ready. Okay, so I have my bowl here. I have my cute ones here. That's it. I dropped some in my butter already. So it says to just stir it until they all are evenly moistened. So it looks evenly moistened to me. What do you guys think? Can you see it? Okay. It looks good to me. Now here's the oil. I just got an idea, guys. Um, I have the pan here. I could use the other one and put it like this so it won't uh burn up y'all y'all think that's gonna work it's gonna have to work okay so uh i'm gonna put these cookie crumbs in here and it says to put it in the freezer while you make the other stuff so that's what i'm going to do you feel me i'm gonna do that Push it down in here. The crusty crust. My hands are clean. Don't worry. And even if they weren't, I mean, not you. Looks like I need some more cookie, huh? Because this is not very crusty, is it? No. That's not enough. I'm going to crush up maybe two more. So, I got two more. I blended them up. Blended them. I blended. I blended them up. Okay. 
and I'm kind of just gonna mix it with this one so it's not dry. I'm gonna get the extra parchment paper. Put it on top. Your girl is handy, okay? She's very handy. And then I'm just gonna push it. Oh. I heard that beeping in the background. Uh, my oven just It is done. 